Hey guys, Ben here. I don't want you to freak out. Do not freak out. This probably won't be for sale, and if it's going to be for sale, it's probably going to be a limited run. I'm not sure how this is going out, but I just want to update you on some of my projects. Aside from me finishing up two commissions, which I have made some mistakes on and I am correcting right now, nothing big. It was mainly the paint that was having issues, and there's not really a whole lot I could do about that, but I wasn't prepared enough, and I don't have the paint, so I had to order that. It's coming in uh, soon. So thank you to those of you who ordered those commissions. I am publicly apologizing. I am probably going to be a little bit. I or, excuse me. We've already talked about it, and we are. I am going to be late, but uh, they were very nice, both of them, and so I, thank you for that. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm working on some other things. This is a seven-shot cylinder. Why isn't it an eight-shot cylinder? I I know that there are more shots available out there. That's not really what I'm concerned with because I don't want the 3D printed stuff to come into contact with the dart at all. Even if I cast it, it's gonna retain all of that detail. Uh, even every every micro deviation in there, it's gonna retain all of that, and I don't want that interfering with my dart. My flash just turned off because my battery is low. I apologize. Um, so, this is aluminum, and that fits in there just like that. This is not the final version. I still need some kinks to work out. Uh, these slots are going to go all the way almost down to the bottom. And uh, I need to bring in the cylinder just, just a hair. Uh, like, literally, like, half a millimeter. So, But this uh, aluminum, I apologize, but you can't buy this anymore. I featured this in a previous video, but you cannot get it anymore for some reason. Which sucks, because Kush darts fit perfectly into this. This is... 17 30 seconds brass doesn't fit as good as this but just for the note that is far too loose and the reason why that's far too loose is because this is meant for 9 16 brass not 17 30 seconds so you take a jacket of 9 16 and then you put it in there and it will fit perfectly this allows you to not only have a full look but it will also let you do a half barrel if you so choose because a full barrel kind of negates the whole upgrading thing. I've seen pretty much stock performance if you do a full barrel and that kind of sucks. So for brass I would probably go for half barrel. For my aluminum since it's such a good fit I'm just gonna go ahead and do the full aluminum because I can't fit this is this is I, that does not fit in there obviously. So I'm not going to bother with the half because that would look weird. And so that is going to get cut down to the contour of the cylinder itself. I'm not leaving it like this. But that fits in there like that. It's going to go all the way around. And then this and this mesh up together. And that actually fits like so. And that slips in there really easily. But there is zero play, and I'm very, very proud of that. That took three iterations to get perfect. That's no sanding or anything. That just happens to fit with no play at all. And I am actually trying. So, that's good. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to try to mold this. I've countered some of the problems I've been having with molding something like this. So, some of the technical issues. So, I'm going to at least try to mold this. But again... Even if this is successful, I'm probably not going to do a very long run of this. So do not get your hopes up, please. I'm warning you now. And even if I do, this is going to be an expensive product. You're also going to have to get all of the brass yourself. Because unless you can get aluminum, I don't know where you can find this. I'll put the uh, specifications in the description. Uh, the size and everything. But, yeah, the, it's going to be expensive to brass an entire thing. Not only once, but technically twice, because you need both 17 30 seconds and 3 16 and that's going to kind of suck. So, this specific design I designed from the ground up, long before the 7-shot cylinder was seen everywhere, uh, before Out of Dart started selling the open source one. It, it was This was all before that, when 7-shot cylinders just came out. It didn't have these slits in them, and it was designed a little bit differently, but the basic principle of this was way, designed way before any of that. I have upgraded the interlocking system to match the current one, 
which everybody seems to be doing. This was still designed from the ground up by me, but it's, I took that inspiration from that. So that's really the only thing I've taken inspiration from outside sources, but that's my seven shot hammer shot cylinder. I, the reason why I'm making this one is I do not like how the one on Cursed Companion is turning out, and I'll show you that when I'm featuring Cursed Companion, but I'm gonna try to do this one instead, so. Uh, that's kind of an update on my hammer shot project. So in the past uh, couple weeks I've gotten pretty lucky. I wouldn't say it's a glorious run, but it's definitely not the worst I've ever done. Uh, today I just got a clear mag for 49 cents. It has some little rubber thing in it that I'm going to have to extract out of that hole right there somehow. Just use tweezers or something, but I'll get it out. Uh, so that's good. And then I also, a couple weeks ago, I also got a Rapid Strike. It was like 8 bucks, which isn't terribly great for Goodwill, but I'm not going to complain for an $8 Rapid Strike. And that actually makes three Rapid Strikes that I've gotten in Goodwill. I found two at once, uh, probably about a month ago, and then another one. And so I was expecting the Clear Mag, because whoever got rid of their whole collection, if they got rid of a Rapid Strike, the, they probably got rid of the clear mags that go with it, and I think this is the second clear mag that I've gotten from this Goodwill, so that's not too bad. I don't expect to find the third one just because I might have already missed it. They might have not put it out yet. They might not put it out for a while. It just kind of depends on how they sort through things, so uh, just whenever you start seeing something good, go back every day or even go back a couple times a day, because that probably means someone gave away their whole collection, and you're probably going to find a few good things. So that's, uh, I guess, one tip, I guess you could call it for goodwill hunting, because people are always asking, how do you find such good things? Really, the only answer is just to keep checking back, but uh, I guess that's one thing that you can say is kind of a another tip. When you see one good thing, someone probably gave away their collection, so keep checking back. Okay, so we have a crossbow here, and I actually just got this in a trade. This is for doing a strife commission. I guess this is just a way of saying, hey, I'm human. I accept money, obviously, for commissions, but not only that, but if I'm looking for something, I generally tell people. It's, it's kind of hard to tell when I want something, but I'll post everywhere that I want something. And recently, I was posting about a crossbow, and someone on... Reddit noticed that and contacted me and said, hey, I noticed you were looking for a crossbow. I have one in good condition. And I was wondering if you could finish up a strife for me. It was a little bit more than I wanted to do right now. So I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. So he sent it over. And when he said in good condition, I didn't realize he meant virtually flawless. This thing has like no scratches on it. <laughs> it's like new in box. Look at that. This is the handle, mind you, where all the wear would be. And even on the ends, where you'd think it would be worn, it is virtually flawless. I can't see any marks on it. And so, this is going to be cut straight in half. <laughs> I know that might seem like a waste to some, but to me, it's not. And I can appreciate the fact that this is going to be flawless going into my project. I much, much appreciate that. I'm kind of anal about that kind of stuff. I I don't really like the used shells. I, I know that sounds really dumb, but I'm a little OCD when it comes to things in my blaster that I can't see. Uh, like leaving hot glue in. A lot of people know I don't like leaving hot glue in my blasters. That's That's one of those things. So this is really, really appreciated. It's in good condition. The plunger rod is still working and stuff. Unfortunately, I've already sold the internals. I've had this for like five minutes. And Evan B. Nerf was like, I want the internals. So uh, those are already sold. You know, even the sticker, look at that. Which is going to be removed <laughs> and destroyed. If you notice all the screws, they don't actually have any rust or anything in them. Which, these are not uh, coated with anything. These are just regular screws. And I know that for a fact. So, it's in very good condition. I also have the box. It actually did come with the box. As a matter of fact, there'll probably be pictures of this as I'm explaining it the entire time. So, just kind of post it over. 
Okay, so I've just taken out all the screws and I actually haven't opened it up yet. I'm curious to see what the inside looks like. Wow. Uh, that is remarkably clean. That does appear to be virtually dustless. Dustless. That is pretty good. That is... I do believe that's pretty much perfect condition. So... Ah, the bandsaw. A wonderful tool to build wonderful things. And yet also a tool of destruction. You know, I've never really considered what would happen if something went wrong, so... I think I'm just gonna jump right into it. If it makes you feel better, I am going to be putting a Dr. Stinkus cage on the, that's a Gen 3. I got this one as a, uh, reject, factory reject, for some reason. I, the, the part that was circled when I got it in, it was a little tiny thing right here that was chamfered wrong. I, I, it's, it's really dumb. That, that little ledge right there, it's not square enough for him or something. And that's literally the only thing wrong with it, so I got that for discount. So that's kind of cool. And uh, again, this is just an aluminum shroud that I put on myself. You can see the brass in there. It doesn't come like that, so... If that makes you feel any better. But that's pretty much it for now. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to get to those. Thanks for watching.